11 needs to can conquer and own the atomic clean, boundless energy of the fusion. This is the most important gift come by Ram, as from the heaven of the divine providence, to save the human life. Before everything, it needs to understand that 1. The electrons are advancing in real orbits and not in the casual appearance in orbitals. 2. When two electrons are in the same phase, the two planes of rotations are the same. 3. The rotation plane of the hydrogen atom is rotating around its polarized axis. 4. In a, a powerful magnetic field, this axis is compelled to its magnetic lines. 5. This magnetic order cuts away the relative movements among all the rotation planes. 6. Atoms so ordered are compelled by the pressure to move only up and down in the magnetic field lines. 7. Two hydrogen adjacent atoms having the same electron phase can be placed one upon another. 8. This surmount should make adjacent two electrons, but this action is strongly opposed. 9. This opposition in the impossibility to change the rotation axis puts in opposition the electron phase. 10. So that the two rotation planes become perpendicular ones. 11. To understand, in conclusion, that in this way we have obtained the atomic fusion of hydrogen, having obtained helios and the immense quantity of clean atomic energy. Romano Amodeo thesis with the required pressure and the required magnetic impulses in sequence as in the internal combustion engines will have the fusion as by the opposite electri electrical impulses we have the opposite of the fusion that is the division of the combustion molecules. The first observation is uh, that uh, the electrons are advancing not in real orbits, but uh, I say that this is the first assumption. The first observation is uh, that uh, the electrons are advancing not in real orbits. But uh, I say that this is the first assumption. 
the electrons are advancing in real orbits and not in casual appearances in orbitals. This is the first big obstacle to cut away. In fact, Shines strongly believes that the electrons are not in rotation, since this is really the relative appearance. But I ask to this science. Point one. The electrons give a touch on their real of their real movement on the electrostatic bubbles and it is a clear spiral line and not a confused and intermittent proceeding. Why? Wherever? Why on earth? Two. When we observe the movement of the rotation plane from one side we perceive that the electric charge is as a wave that shows a line in full rotation as a, a real wave and not as a, a confuse proceeding. Why? Wherever. Why on the earth? Point three. When in a real orbit around the earth everything is in a perpetual fall, the gravitation of the earth seems to be not. Why? Wherever. Why on the earth? Finally, when we, by an electron, desire to measure the electron mass of another, it is not appearing. Why? Whatever. Why on the earth? And this is a my conclusion, my science. When we are running exactly as another one is running, we cannot measure his relative speed or its mass. In fact, our car can be before the other and never came into collision. Also, in the real orbit around the Earth, everything is in real orbit, but appears to be in free fluctuation, as it is was not in a real rotation around the earth, but only when another is in the same condition and is observing the same dynamic regarding itself. So, when we are observing the rotation of the particle around its center, and we make this observation by another particle that is in the same rotation, we perceive 
the fluctuation as in a real orbit around the Earth. If uh, I am in this uh, real orbit around the, te the Earth and uh, I perceive in fluctuation something that I have uh, in uh, my observation, perhaps this is not uh, in rotation around the Earth only because I am perceiving it that in appearance there is not the Earth's gravitation. Because it is appearing that there is not the real mass of this that is not in free fall since I also am in fall. Oh, my dear scientists, if you understand this big misunderstanding that you have done, affirming strongly that uh, the electron is not in rotation but in fluctuation because uh, in this possibility to perceive, we are in this uh, rotation of ourselves around our life. Oh, are you or are you not able to understand? If you are not able to understand, you cannot have the atomic free power of the fusion because you'll say Amodeo all your know-how starts from a big wrongly confusion because we have not the rotation, but we have the fluctuation of the electron. And so that uh, to, to be when to uh, planes of rotation are one on the other this two electrons are not one on the other and it is not possible to have this no it is possible because the phase of the electron is the first condition to have the plane to plane as the same plane and so by the requested impulse of the magnetism and by the requested pressure that push to this moment so that we have the possibility to have one on the other and so two particular one on the other that are not possible and so that is it is if you start from this big mistake you lose the possibility to make easy 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 experiments that have no the necessity of a big money to observe the specularity 
of the motor that we use. The electric charge make the explosion, the impulse of magnetism makes the fusion. These two fields are specular one. And so, this is the easy way to perceive to the fusion of the atom.